Hey guys, welcome to it and the interesting video based on data mining. So uh, in my previous video I discussed regarding the measure of central tendency the different formulas for mean, median as well as mode. So today we'll solve a problem based on how to calculate the median for a particular data set or for a particular table or a range. Uh, given for a one particular problem so we'll uh, look for that particular problem so the problem says uh, something like this suppose that the values for a given set of data are grouped into intervals and the intervals and corresponding frequencies are given in this table like you have age and frequency age of different people and there are frequencies given like uh, how many number of people are there falling in that category and they are saying that you have to compute an approximation median for the particular data. You have to calculate the median. So just focus on this median. Just forget about what is approximation. You have to calculate the median of this data, of this particular data set or information which is given. Now from the problem, uh, we came to know that we have to calculate the median. And so we have to measure the central tendency of the data for median. So we have this following formula for median that is L1 plus n by 2 minus summation of frequency of the lower boundary divided by frequency of the median multiplied by its width. Now uh, yesterday we have seen the uh, what are the various parameters involved in this. So we have L1 that is the lower boundary of the median interval n that is the number of values in the entire data set summation of frequency uh, that is lower boundary of that particular median some of the frequencies of all the intervals that are lower than the median interval and frequency of the median frequency of the median interval and the width width of the entire median interval so median interval is nothing but this particular data that is the range which is given so let's start solving the problem or let's first obtain this values that is uh, for l1 so first we want the lower boundary so lower boundary how will get in this so uh, since this particular data or this particular median interval consists of six values so one two three four five six so if n uh, was odd then it was easier that the middle value was the median so since uh, here it's uh, six n is even so we'll calculate uh, or we'll take the middle two values that we'll take these two values we'll compute its average that is 300 plus 1500 is 1800 1800 when we divide by 2 we get 900 so 900 falls in this range that is 20 to 50 and between this like 300 to 1500 it's more than 300 and so it falls within this range and so uh, the age range of this is 20 to 50 and this is the lower boundary and this is the upper boundary of this so uh, lb and this is ub so l1 in this case will be 20 then we have n that is the uh, summation of all these values 200 plus 450 plus 300 plus 1500 plus uh, 700 plus 44 so this comes out to be 3194 and then you have summation of frequency of the lower boundary so uh, we have this frequency that is 1500 so all these values that are lower than this or the all the values which are above than this that is we have to compute this value frequency of the lower boundary some of the frequencies of all the intervals that are lower than the median interval so this is our median interval so all those frequency summation we have to calculate this uh, like upper than 1500 so you have 200 plus uh, 450 that is 650 650 plus 300 you have 950 here and then we have frequency of the median frequency of the median will be in this case that is our this value that is 1500 then you have to calculate the width so for width uh, what we do is we just minus this upper boundary minus lower boundary so it's 4 here this will be 10 this will be 5 this will be 30 this will be 30 and this will be 30 so uh, we can see that uh, the width of this entire particular median interval is 30 and so we take width as 30 now we just take all these values and put it in this formula so we get the median value as median is equal to l1 that is 20 plus uh, this entire bracket we are going to put that is n by 2 that is 3194 divided by 2 minus your frequency of the lower boundary that is 950 then you have a frequency median that is 1500 multiplied by its width that is 30 now uh, remember that uh, this is the you have to apply the board mass rule here so first uh, whatever is there in the bracket we have to solve that first so else you will get the answer as wrong so 
this turns out to be 3194 divided by 2 it comes out to be uh, 1597 and minus when you do 950 uh, you get this multiplied by 30 and this value comes out to be 647 and divided by 1500 multiplied by 30 still in the bracket you have to calculate this as it is so it will be 20 plus uh, this value comes out to be 0 0.43133 multiplied by 30 you will first do this then you add with this so you will have 20 plus 12.94 and so the final answer will be 32.94 that is the value for median and since it's given for age we'll write it in years so that is the unit for this particular problem or for this particular median interval set so well uh, this is a very small problem regarding the measure of central tendency for median calculation for a particular data set so hope you enjoyed this video if you got educated by watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video